Warning, this video will show blood from when I was getting a phlebotomy. So if that stuff grosses you out, like it definitely does for me, you don't have to continue to watch this. I have really, 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 really good news. I got a phlebotomy. 80% actually, it wasn't a full phlebotomy. But you know what? At this point, anything was amazing. Like, oh, I so needed it. Um, so here's the thing. I, <laughs> I'll give you the story of this one. And I'm so excited because if you know anything about my past and my experiences with phlebotomies and having to have the port and all of that, you know, any phlebotomy through my arm is like amazing. I've now had now two successful ones through my thumb and one through the arm. So like amazing. Everything else has been through port. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It makes a difference. Um, then you can see all the videos, blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, let me tell you this. Um, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> I went in. Oh, okay. So we already know that I had this horrible thing. The Aphoresis Center, totally upset, like so over it, right? But I needed a phlebotomy. So um, I went in. I got my labs done. Um, carbon dioxide was still low. Um, AST, ALT. ALT was high. Well, it, they're both high, but the ALT had gone up like 20 points in like two weeks. I mean, just things are going rough. So my liver, I wasn't um, able to take the interferon. Um, again, it's still delayed um, because the liver's still acting up. So I had to get a phlebotomy and I was only at 42 point something, but like taking showers, everything agonizing, horrible, horrible, agonizing pain. So I went through all that, right? And um, I get a call from the nurse who's super sweet. And she's like, hey, you have to have a phlebotomy. I'm like, I know, you know. And she said, well, um, can I call and get you an appointment at this other location? I'm like, sure. Now, I'm thinking it's the one I had previously been to. And like, I got booted. It was heartbreaking a bit, but I needed something. They just couldn't do it anymore. They felt like they had exhausted everything. So I'm excited, I think I'm gonna go. The day of, I look at the address, I'm like, that's not my normal place. <laughs> we go to a different location. My husband drops me off. He doesn't wanna go in and touch anything, but he also knows I'm not feeling well. And we try and care about others. And if I'm not feeling well, I'm not driving. It's not safe for me or others and just something to consider. So we go there, he drops me off, I go in, the girl checks me in, so easy, so smooth. And she says, hey, do you have, you know, fever or um, flu-like symptoms or headaches? I'm like, I have everything but fever and it is all due to my medicine or the PV. I said, this is like why, why I'm here. She's like, okay, cool. Super cool about it. I go check in, sit back. Um, there's only about four people in that waiting room. We're all genuinely kind to each other by sitting very far apart, which is... The nice thing to do especially right now and they call me back for my vitals um, my blood oxygen was 96 and she kept looking at me I'm like yeah I know I, I'm not feeling great right you can kind of know these things and then um, I don't remember the rest oh I have gained so much weight like when I had my son I was in the hospital for like a month. I didn't gain a single ounce, like nothing. Oh, maybe an ounce or something. Something like nothing really, it was like negligible. And I was eating like six meals a day and I was gaining like nothing. He was gaining nothing, it was insane. Um, and I couldn't exercise laying in bed the whole night. I got out, after I had him, I got out. I had to learn to do the walking and all that again. And I ballooned. That's when I was like, I am now almost at that weight of after having my son and ballooning. I am 155 and I know taller people, this may not be a big deal. I don't carry weight very well and I'm short. So I am just gaining, but um, it's been hard earned <laughs> this last year. It really has been hard to gain weight in the beginning. Now I'm just ballooning. So soon enough, you'll see me doing something about it. Anyway, so that's what I did learn from the vitals. Um, went back, sat in the waiting room, easily done, went back. It was like heaven. It was everyone's dream phlebotomy place. 
like we had our own little sections it was clean it was nice it was organized no yelling here no this that um we all had our little sections semi-private i was down the very end by the door so i was kind of happy um they were tentative they did a great job the nurse came in she's like hey do you have your port i'm like nope no port right now and um gave her a brief explanation i showed her this is where you can get a phlebotomy from my arms and she's like from your thumb i'm like believe me please 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 try it just listen you know i said you know this vein is this this one is this this i gave her the whole story who knows stories of your veins <laughs> and so this is my final one right i said this one has worked she's like okay she came back with the needles for it and jammed right in there and it was like not only they like in but they like scrunch you know and she got it and i was like yes she hooked it up and she did it to these um oh no what are they called these amazing bottles You're, i'm gonna put video with this so you can see it's just so cool um and i love this thing it seriously was like it helped bring out the blood. So she had me do my um, wrist straight because any movement stopped the flow. So we'd have to go straight and then she'd have me squeeze partial. And I'd squeeze and then it'd be like Psh. Now here's the issue. I usually never look. I don't look at hardly anything ever. I thought it was fascinating. Worst decision ever. We, <laughs> it was so bad. I was fascinated. I was like, wow, this is like amazing. I've heard of these things and people talk about them and this is like a dream for people with phlebotomy. So I'm staring at this box. I'm squeezing. <laughs> it's, it's interesting and gross at the same time. So this, I've heard of these vacutainers. Uh -huh. Like these are so coveted when you have a bad. Um, As opposed to a bag, the bag. Everyone talks about wanting these. Like I have asked for them before and they're like, no, we don't have them. But these are like the the mysterious vacutainers that we've all wanted. Oh no, it's slowing down. Just keep squeezing the ball. Squeeze. Let's go. I'm gonna pump it if that helps. Yeah, whatever. So basically, what you're doing by squeezing the balls. I'm a. I get queasy. I was like, and then all of a sudden, like I'm laying there, and she's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Mm-hmm, I'm fine." And then she's like. Looking at me, I'm like, I'm not fine. I started like dripping in like the cold, hot, flash, sweat, craziness. Um, <laughs> it was like, I got sick to my stomach and I was like, ooh. And then all of a sudden she like, it's like the lights like kind of started dimming. You know what I mean? Like that, it was so insane. And she's like, ah, uh, and she goes, she does my vitals. Um, she calls someone for the vitals. They take off the thing. She's like, we're gonna stop this for right now stops it puts the liquids on another girl called my doctor the doctor said yes you have to continue a phlebotomy on her even after fluids so i mean like they kind of caught it she's like how was that and i told her what happened she's like yeah you're about to pass out <laughs> i'm like yeah i'm like i'm a little shocked and i was like confused and cold and just like it was weird and weak like but i laid back and i just kind of enjoyed it I was taking it as a time this is so bad but I can be very introverted and I like my own time just to space out so I kind of just like enjoyed being alone <laughs> and I ate my crackers and ginger ale and I was one happy camper so then um, after they do this flu it's the first bag um, she comes back and she's like you know your doctor said we have to try and finish I'm like that's cool I totally get that and I personally really want it. We only went to 250. So, um, but it was really quick, it was 10 minutes. So it usually takes a lot longer for me. Um, so then she goes and um, she, you know, sets me up again, I've already had this bag, does the bottle again and we are going. And then my, oh, I forgot, took my vitals, my oxygen still at 96 and um, the blood pressure had gone down. It was low for me, but it was like, maybe normal for everyone I don't know um, but it wasn't like deadly but it's just pretty low like 107 or something like that over 70 something so it wasn't like terrible terrible it just wasn't mine you know so anyway um, we go back and uh, she 
puts me back on and we start doing the blood again and she's looking at me looking at everything she's like we're only gonna do you to 400 she's like you've had some fluids in there you know we're gonna just take out what we can but 400 your limit because I was starting to get spacey and woozy again and this time I did not look at the bottle I'm like I'm not looking at the bottle again <laughs> um here's the weirdest thing that happened she's like okay call your husband so he can come get you because you're going to get some fluids after this and then he'll get you and he's going to need to walk you out I'm like okay so I look at my phone and I'm like I forgot his name I forgot my husband's name it was nuts I was like how do you forget his name? and I was thinking husband I was like this is f weird so finally it took me a second she's like you forgot your husband's name I'm like no um, it's gonna be okay like I sometimes space out totally weird but like I needed the blood out too so anyway I found him called him he was on his way like ASAP came back and um, she did let me get up um, after because we did the extra liquids we ended up going to 400 and that was it um, then I was able to just go and see my husband at the door. Of course, I did the alcohol stuff, everything, tried not to touch stuff, the whole nine. And then I walked out. He picked me up. Um, oh, uh, one thing she told me, I wasn't allowed to go to sleep without eating dinner. And I said, you know, I'm just going to go home and go to bed. She's like, no, you're not. You have to go home, eat some dinner. Don't just go crash out. She's like, you can't do that. She's like, if these continue to happen, because I, I guess my body's kind of going up and down, she's like, then you need to call your doctor on call or whatever it was. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I go through sweats a lot of times anyhow, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to distinguish that, but we'll see. Um, I let my husband know, came home. My mom made me some dinner because she's awesome, and she's staying with us. Um, she was about to fly home, then coronavirus hit, so now plans canceled. She's staying here. <laughs> Um, but then uh, she made dinner they woke me up I had some dinner I don't remember what in the world and I went back to sleep next day I had like half a day of energy I really tried I went outside and I did some raking and trimming and needed to be done and I just had to get out and feel like I was doing something um, I ended up leaving a mess out there like not finishing it but you know you do what you can and you feel cool because you can trim some weeds and then I came in and I have been taking it like half day at a time. Um, good thing when I left, my oxygen was at 100%. I'm still feeling tired. I'm still not feeling like 100%, but I am feeling a million percent better. However that works, right? Um, not a mathematician. <laughs> anyway, that was my uh, recent phlebotomy. I'm checking back in with everyone and everyone can see this vacutainer. It's called a vacutainer through the bottle and listen, had I gone to this place before, I may have never have had to have the pour or anything. Oh my gosh. And like through the thumb, desperate times, right? And she was willing to do through the thumb, the vacutainer. Awesome. You don't always have to go in the box. Sometimes it works. Otherwise, anyway, wishing you all good luck and happiness and loads of successful phlebotomies and take care.